Hey, what's up guys? Alan here with EatSleepTrade.net. Uh, going to be going over the watch list for the week coming up, June 29th, 2015. Um, last couple weeks on the scans, um, there really hasn't been a sector that is standing out or performing well. And that happens from time to time, especially during the summer months. Uh, where things in the stock market generally start to slow down, uh, people start going on vacations and spend some time away from the market and that really reflects in the overall volume of the market itself and things tend to kind of slow down and you've got to kind of you know get away from looking for those sector scans um, sector scans are really uh, dependent on high volume. Um, a lot of interest needs to be in that sector uh, in order for it to be considered strong and find those uh, breakout plays that we look for in those strong sectors. Uh, so right here I've attached an image that kind of breaks down um, a simple scan that I use for profitable small stock breakouts and I uh, wanted to share it with you guys to help give you guys an idea of a scan that you can use if you can't find a sector that is outperforming all the other sectors. Uh, so here it is. Uh, first up, always like to look for small, uh, small cap stocks. It's not mandatory, um, but I like to because they tend to be more volatile and more volume tend to be uh, less expensive on a price per share basis. Uh, and then I always like to look for uh, profitable companies. Um, there's not much reason to try to swing trade a breakout on a company that's not profitable. It doesn't really make sense. Um, so whenever I'm looking for non-sector uh, specific scans, I always like to look for profitable companies. My average volume, at least over 100K. Um, I change this from time to time. Sometimes it's 200, 300, 500, uh, just kind of depending on the scenario and situation that we're in. Um, as I was just saying, you know, with volume leaving the market, there's not a whole lot of volume. Uh, we're just going to be looking for stocks that are trading over 100K. And one of the important things on this scan is the relative volume. Not only do we need a stock whose average volume is pretty good, but we need a good relative volume. We want to know that there's more people trading this stock today than there were for the last month. Um, and that's where relative volume comes in. We want high relative volume to let us know new traders or new buyers or new sellers or whatever is coming in to this stock. And uh, I like to look for USA stocks. Um, I definitely trade non-USA stocks, but in a time like right now where the volume's kind of lower, I try to look for stocks that are going to be a little bit safer to play. Um, so we'll just eliminate all the foreign and just look at USA stocks. And over here on the price, I put price under $30. Obviously, this is not really changing anything in the scan. You could if you want to trade stocks that are trading at $100 per share, then you can, uh, you know, just change that for whatever price you're looking for. So there's a simple small cap stock, uh, small cap scan, uh, profitable companies with decent volume and high relative volume. Uh, and then you just search through and look for the chart setups that you want to trade. All right, guys, so that's it for a, a simple scan on small cap relative volume. And we'll be back in just a second to get into the stocks for this week. All right, guys, welcome back. First up on the list, we're going to take a look at SFS. Uh, had a great play on this and was able to get on this huge uh, breakout here for great profits. Sold off into the gap down on the second red day, which by the end of the day I was glad I did as it came all the way back down and tested that 1750 area of support. Uh, hanging out up here right now, though, actually about halfway up between the run that we just had 
and kind of just going to keep this on watch, see if we consolidate and start to head back up towards that 1870 uh, area of resistance. If we fell through uh, this 1750 area of support as well as our 50 day, uh, then I'm going to be bearish on the stock for sure. Uh, but I like where it's headed right now. Let's let it keep uh, consolidating. I feel like the stock still can push higher and I'm going to be looking for buying opportunity, especially if we get down to this 1750 area or the 50 day. Um, to get back in and anticipating a run either back towards 1870 or that breakout through 1870s. So I'm going to keep this on watch. I still like the stock overall and believe that it could definitely make a break higher if we hold up on this support and find our way back above that 1870s area. Next up on the list is IDRA. Another one here that's been on the list for a couple of weeks and it just really hasn't done what we were looking for it to do. Had this huge uh, fake breakout right here above 390s, which I'm sure a lot of longs got trapped into. I almost did myself. Um, I decided not to take a position on that day. And of course, at the end of that day, was glad that I did. Um, and now we've continued to pull back quite a bit and we're reaching down towards the 50 day on this as well and we really want to hold that 50 day um, you guys could see the cross we had of the 50 coming under the 200 day which is bearish um, but we want to hold that 50 day now as support and try to start heading back up for the breakout above 390 so I'm gonna keep it on watch I feel like it's not uh, not completely dead yet for the play that we were looking for um, it definitely didn't break out like we wanted it to um, but I feel like we might still have a chance once everybody kind of moves away from this and moves away from that anticipation breakout. It had a lot of hype and a lot of people watching it. Um, so as people tend to leave and sneak away, sometimes these things start to crawl back up and you get that breakout that you were looking for. So I'm going to keep it on watch, hold the 50 day and see if we can reverse and start heading back to that 390. Show me some strength, a breakout on that 390 area and we may be able to find a way to take a position on this one. Next up on the list is CCS. Got a nice uptrend here, uh, nice strong uptrend, a pretty big breakout above this $20 area, uh, 2080 area of resistance here. Um, nice big breakout, nice flag forming now, next area of resistance up here at 2180s. Uh, going to look for that pullback to continue and break out of this flag. Uh, if we start coming down to 2080, fall through that support, then we're going to be looking bearish on that. Want to hold our uptrend, so we definitely still have some room that we can continue pulling back before we start to round and come back up towards this 2180. And the entry we're going to be looking for this is going to be right around this 2080 area. As soon as we can confirm that we are holding this 2080 area as support. That's when we want to enter and look to continue back up to that 2180. A breakout of 2180 could push us all the way up to 2320. So we've got huge range on this and huge opportunity to make a big trade. So watch this flag, watch the consolidation. You can see we've got a bearish engulfing uh, on Friday. Uh, so not, not a strength looking candle relative volume was high to the downside um, so just watch this you know if we hold around this 2080 and you see it start to curl and start to move back up and it holds this uptrend uh, anticipate a at least the move back to 2180 and possibly a breakout with a move up to this 2320 area so keep that on watch look for that support to hold if we pull back that far start to reverse and continue this uptrend uh, to run back higher Next up on the list is CSBK. A lot of bank stocks, uh, financials I've seen that are set up pretty well as far as the charts go. Um, you can see the uptrend on this one. Nice strong uptrend. We're putting in a strong multi-top here around $14. So that's really going to be the resistance breakout that I'm going to try to play on this. And as long as we hold this uptrend and this thing continues to to grind higher as it consolidates into this multi-top at 14. We could see a nice break and a push above that 14 area and that's what I'm going to be uh, looking to try to find. Holding on to the 50 day right now off this last pullback and keeping our eye on 14. See if we get the breakthrough there. Hold the uptrend. 
let the range tighten and consolidate uh, you know further into this wedge here until we get that breakout next up on the list MTZ interesting stock right here um, was in a downtrend for quite some time looks like it's uh, breaking out of that downtrend broke it consolidated and managed to get a nice ramp and now it's putting in a decent flag um, I like the flag here would love to see a breakout above the 200 day um, so keep an eye on this um, perfect little textbook flag setup right here pulls back and the range is consolidating nicely buyers came in on this last pullback day want to see a green day come in on Monday start to break above that flag and even push our way you know back up to our previous highs here around 2150s so watch this flag breakout we got a trend reversal could be starting a new uptrend if we get that break above that 2180 and uh, could give us a nice opportunity to make a play out of this one next up on the list is MYRG nice daily wedge uh, setting up on this consolidating tightly want to see it continue come off the bottom of this wedge tighten into this range here and get the nice breakout uh, first area of resistance is going to be right here below forty dollars around thirty ninety uh, so that's going to be a pretty significant area the break after that you're looking at around thirty two dollars so you've got good range on this which gives us a good opportunity to uh, give us a good risk reward when we're looking for that entry as long as we hold this bottom channel or bottom support of this wedge continue up look to get the break back above that fifty day break through the top side of this wedge and find ourselves a good entry and a continuation on the uptrend here alright guys that's gonna wrap it up this week for the stocks on our watch list if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Also, check out our website, eatsleeptrade.net. Uh, from there, you can follow me on Twitter as well as like our Facebook page so you can stay up to date on all the stocks that we are watching and trading. We're also uh, updating the website constantly, just adding a new chart patterns page, uh, which goes over the different type of patterns that we look for when we're looking for swing trade setups. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.